Hey there, this is Kiri, one of the instructors at Manhattan at a workshop. And we have campuses in both New York City as well as Albany, upstate New York. I'm in Apple's motion and today I'm going to show you how to quickly track the movement of something. So as an example, I'm going to track the movement of this vehicle and I will attach a license plate. Maybe I need to disguise the license plate or I need to do a replacement. So I'm going to quickly bring in a graphic. So I'm going to go into my shapes in the library and I will use something like uh, this peel shaped object. Select that and then I'll hit apply and then it comes in here. So I'll put it close to, to the uh, vehicle and I'm going to make sure it lines up with the start of my play range down here. Make sure my playhead, if I do shift I, my playhead jumps to the play range start. So what I want to do is pin that graphic where the license plate would be. So to do that, I'm going to go into my behaviors and I'm going to go into motion tracking and I want this match move behavior. So I'm going to drag and drop it right on my graphic, which is this peel object. And um, it gives me one tracking point right in the center. So to change that, I'm going to come here in the heads up, type from transformation to four corners. And then now I got these four points and I'm going to drag and line them up with the four corners of where the license plate would be. So I can start with the bottom right and it gives me a magnification and I'll pin it right there. And then I'll do the same for the top right corner and I will do the same for the uh, top left corner right about there. And then just one more. So it's great. I don't have to worry too much about trying to resize and make it fit. And so they, they I have it. So the next thing is now I want motion to analyze the movement so it can create uh, and match the movement. So I'm just going to hit the analyze button and then we can watch and see now up here there's the progress and it's analyzing the movement and it's actually creating keyframes tracking each frame and its movement and it looks like it's done so if I rewind and I play looks like it's stuck and did a good job I can just click away to get rid of uh, the keyframes from being displayed and there it is one more time nice and smooth and there you have it and you are in business so that's motion tracking in motion by apple i hope you enjoyed it see you next time bye bye